place where folks from all walks of life come and hang out on the first Friday of every month to go to the various galleries, the restaurants, and share um, experiences and um, mm -hmm. see people, meet people. I think it brings um, a huge life and vitality to the whole downtown area. Mm -hmm. It's a staple of the community now. Mm -hmm. I think everybody expects it now. It's it's our hot Friday. I mm -hmm. mean, geez, what else do you do on the first Friday of the month? You go to our hop. Absolutely. It allows people to, to communicate, to build. It, it allows people from different demographics to to find some commonality, you know, within their lives. It allows people to grow again and share their experiences. And it, it allows me to become part of something else other than myself. Part of the reason that I came to the Park Trade Center is that they have the opportunity to uh, participate in Art Hop every month. It's kind of like a carnival. Um, so that makes it a lot of fun and with a lot of interesting people. folks that are down here, a lot of the dirty arts, um, you've got the potters and glass blowers, um, folks who do metal art. Um, so there's a real kind of kinesthetic feel in this part of the building during our time. A lot of the pieces that I do are interactive art, the kinetic art. I really like that kind of stuff because it actually, you are involved with it. Uh, it doesn't work, it doesn't function if you're not involved. We have our niece's photography, we have gourds and jewelry that I do, um, metalwork, glass, stonework that Marty does. Um, our next door neighbor Pat has note cards that she makes. His ideas are just, they're incredible um, and they're very technical. I mean, what you do is very precise and, and beautiful in its precision. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, a friend of mine made a comment when he seen my table. He goes, 
That must be what your brain looks like when you're dreaming. There, there you go. go. <laughs> there you go. There's my next one right there. There you go. See, for me, it's, you know, how do I find the rocks that really feel good on your skin, you know? And what is the gourd saying to me? <laughs> Doctor, how do I feel the way it's supposed to be? Yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> it's really you have to create what's inside of you and your passion and not so much create for what you think is going to sell or it, that's really not what art is about it's it's getting what you feel and getting that out there and making and creating what you enjoy doing and I think when you do that that's what makes a piece come alive and mm -hmm. I actually think some of that feeling gets translated into your piece whatever that happens to be mm -hmm. whether it's a gourd or a piece of steel or a piece of glass when you put emotion into it I think it evokes emotion from other people Some people can't put art, the image, to what God has made me into an art, you know, physically, like as a, as a sculpture. They can't see, Calvin, you're a drummer, you're this, this. I didn't know you was an artist. Uh, we all are artists. <laughs> so it's like, you, you know you're an artist also, right? You just got to practice it and, and not be afraid. You got to have confidence. Drumming allows me to uh, have a tangible outlet to express and detach, um, and to hear, and to feel culture and history, um, it's holistic, it's, it's very holistic. I enjoy right now, these days, um, painting. I find painting just with no structure, just improvision, a jazzy flow, a cycle within the art uh, show, show how things are interconnected with, the, with emotion and motion of different lines, thick, thin, none, no lines. I think uh, painting allows that. My pieces are somewhat controversial because like this collection has uh, a message of respecting women more. Uh, um, so the, the art I create, I like to say, you know, represent women better, you know, so, so the young people can grow up and know that they can look at, at at a woman better than just her ass, you know, or her booty. You know, that woman is someone's mother, sister, you know, auntie. And I didn't grow up, you know, uh, with that right focus. Anybody can draw something, but if the message is not backing up the substance, then the substance is not backed, you know? So it's like, it can be blown by any type of wind. So I have a purpose. I have a target market in my art. And so when they get that piece, they're gonna remember those conversations. They're gonna remember that energy. They're gonna remember those thoughts. And, and that, 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 that allows people to be mindful. And so I'm, I'm, I'm mindful by stating that this art in which was presented, the last art hop allowed people to be mindful. And that to me is priceless. I always like to work with my hands, um, and this is kind of an extreme form of working with your hands because you're right into it. Sometimes up, literally up to your elbows. The organic feel of making a piece, seeing it kind of come to life on the wheel, is a lot of fun. Um, pottery's kind of well. I guess most arts are that way. Probably all arts are that way. Uh, I can get lost in the pottery. I can be making things here at the wheel and 
It seems like 10 minutes have gone by and I'll look at the clock and it's been two hours. So it's, uh, it's, almost, like, uh, it's almost like meditation in its sense. It, I've heard it said that um, a laborer works with her hands, a craftsman works with their hands and their mind, and an artist works with their hands, their mind, and their heart. And I think at this point, I would characterize myself as a craftsman aspiring to be an artist. What I'm really trying to do is to get to the point where I'm making things that have some degree of meaning. This particular glaze has a real depth to it. You can look into the glaze and with the crystals and so forth in the glaze you can it's kind of like looking at clouds in the sky. You can see shapes and you can envision all kinds of things in in that glaze. I hope that each of these things are have a sense of beauty about them. People will enjoy them. People will see the sense of depth in the glaze and be anxious to display it and talk about it. So from that perspective, even though I'm thinking of myself as a craftsman, it is art, um, at least in my mind. My objective is not just to sell. Uh, people who buy the things that I make, I'm hoping will enjoy them for a lifetime. Art is an essential part of the human experience. And I think that, in my opinion, everybody has art in them. Anything in life can be art. And it's, to me, art is what inspires feelings, emotions, provokes new thoughts, uh, looking at stuff in a way that you've never looked at it before. It's joyful, just everyday creation. Art, again, allows me to become a better individual and a better um, piece of the puzzle in what we call life. Art to me is relationship, I guess. It's relative, <laughs> all right, that's a lot. Art to me is infinite. You know, art, art, I can't really define it. I don't know what to say after that. Like, what, what can go, what, what goes after infinite? Like infinity, I don't know.